Hello guys, welcome back to Beyond the Realms and the Hitchcock Takeover here on my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing his film from 1944 entitled Lifeboat. Uh, this movie starts off with showing um, a bunch of wreckage in the ocean. These two ships have just hit. One of them um, is a German warship and the other one is, um, I believe it's carrying U.S. and British citizens. I'm not sure if it's a warship either. I don't believe it is, but either way, they both ships... Um, end up sinking and um you know you see all this wreckage and then you see um a lifeboat floating along and there was a woman in it by the name of uh, constance porter who goes by connie in the movie um she is uh she does not look like she went down in a boat wreck whatsoever she's uh, a well-to-do woman she's very nice dressed she's dry um and she just doesn't seem too concerned at all and uh very soon, you know, she starts to find some guys in the ocean that are still alive. She helps them on board one by one. And um, eventually, you know, you get a handful of people in the boat, you know, mostly guys. There's a couple of women. One of them is like a nurse. Um, another one has a baby that's not doing too well. Um, there's a black guy who was a steward on the boat. And... Um, you know, then they, they end up finding um, another guy a little, just a little bit later. And comes to find out, uh, once they get him on board, they find out he is a German soldier. So they're very leery of him. But, you know, they decide to uh, go ahead and keep him on board because, um, you know, they think it, it will be to their advantage to have a prisoner of war if they have him. But um, the one guy, Kovac... He's very untrusting of this German soldier. He does not want him on board at all. He wants to kill him and throw him overboard. Um, you know, so they kind of go back and forth with that. And, uh, you know, the woman with the baby, that's that's such a, a sad part in the movie because, um, you know, they're trying to take care of him. The baby is just not doing well. Um, it's There's a lot of desperation in this movie, guys, because... You know, it starts off, and the one character, Gus, has an injured leg. And, um, you know, Connie is saying that, you know, it, it, it's okay. Soon our, you know, our rescue ship will be here. Everything will be all right. Um, you know, because they, they have some food, a little bit of food on board, um, a little bit of water, and even a little bit of alcohol. Um, but they're not too concerned. You know, they, they think that a rescue ship will be right around the corner. So, you know, at first they, they start off and they're really not too worried about their situation. Uh, but as time goes along, they realize that there is no ship coming, um, that they're not going to be found. And there's a lot of um, desperation, arguments, um, fighting that happens. Uh, it, you know, it's just, to me, it was like what you would, how you would think you would really be if you were in that situation. Um, it's not a pretty movie. It, it's, it's, it's a depressing film. It's not, um, a pretty sight at all, but you know, I, I think that, um, it's a very good character study of taking, you know, a group of people and putting them into a desperate and desolate situation where, you know, it doesn't look like there's any chance of survival and seeing how people will react to it. You know, to me, it harkens back to films like, you know, Day of the Dead, uh, The Mist, um, just films like that that are, you know, they're bleak films. I mean, I think that this is right along the same lines as like that. Now, granted, this isn't a horror film, but, you know, it still has that desperation to it that those films have. And, you know, there's many ways that some, many of these characters react in the same ways that they do in those movies. Um, you know, there's excellent acting. I thought all of them were very good. I mean, really, seriously, like no weak characters at all, which, you know, Hitchcock was really good at pulling off. Um, the character of Connie, she is, uh, how do you say this lightly? I guess you don't. She is a bitchy woman. <laughs> she really is. Um, she'd be hard to, uh, to take in that situation. Um, she does sort of start to break down and when she does that, she calms down, you know, but, um, you know, the character of, uh, no, uh, Kovac, you know, he's, he's really wants to be the leader. He wants to be the strong guy, you know, um, but everybody kind of refutes him. You know, he, 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 he kind of pulls it off a little bit, but everybody kind of refutes him. And by the end he, he kind of, uh, you know, 
has lost his grip on you know the group and everything but you know there's there's several uh elements in this that that I thought were really good you know cuz you know you have to have uh certain plot points to make a story like this work because the entire film beginning to end takes place in this boat with only this group of people and there are only let's see here see I got the old uh IMDb pulled up here, which I, I reference a lot when I do reviews. There are two, four, six, eight. There are only ten people in this boat at any given time. That's the max. And um, you know, so it, it, it's interesting how you know things with uh, Gus's injury comes into play. Um, how uh, situations with the German soldier comes into play, um, you know, because they're one thing they're trying to do is uh, figure out a direction to go. Um, they think that going to Bermuda will be their best option, and um, you know, the the guys kind of argue over the position of the sun and what direction to go in, and uh, you know, they don't have a compass. Um, so they're, they're trying to decide, you know, because they, they know if they go one way, they're going to go even deeper into the ocean. If they go another way, you know, it, it might be good. And then if they can get the right direction of Bermuda, that would be, uh, their best bet to getting to a port. So, you know, a lot of that comes into play with this. And, um, you know, as the film goes along, you get these little moments between the characters where, you know, you, you get to find out a little bit about them, about a little bit about who they are. And, um, you know, it doesn't uh, feel choppy or anything like it's just deliberately done. You know, it, it's uh, Hitchcock does it smoothly where, you know, each one, you get a little bit of each character as it goes along. And, uh, you know, you really get invested in these characters. And, um, you know, there's some tense moments that come up with uh, storms, um, with the boat almost sinking. Um so yeah, I mean, it just, I, I, I really liked Lifeboat a lot. I'd heard that it's a good film, and after watching it, I have to totally agree. I thought that it was an excellent film. Um, if you're into character study type films like that, and you don't mind a film that's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's definitely on the dark side and a little depressing, you know, you might want to check this out. Uh, I'm going to give Life, Lifeboat a 9 out of 10. Really enjoyed it a lot, guys. This is a great addition to have. Has a uh, nice little slip cover here. Uh, in case you didn't see the unboxing I did for it, same cover underneath, but nice glossy slip cover. Um, so yeah, guys, nine out of ten for Lifeboat, um, and I, it's another one yet again that I recommend checking out from Hitchcock. So I hope y'all are doing well. Have a good one. Later.